Hi, what's up everybody? Um, how's everybody doing out there? So, I know last time you seen me do a video, I was down and depressed, going through some stuff. Because my, you know, blood pressure. But, that's not what I'm here for. So, you guys know before, I was out, when I was doing just like this, was for interview celebrities. And, and everything. And, you know, we've tried a lot of people on the show. We've had Jack Russell's Great White. We've had Donnie Baker, Jake Snake Roberts, Lita Ford, Danny Trejo. Um, just, just, just a nut to Eric Bischoff, Jim Cornette, Teddy Long. Just a lot of people I can name, but you guys know the list. It's a great list. Big celebrity list. So, during the COVID era, we were trying to struggle through getting people on as guests and trying to figure out how things could work. When Zoom came into play and I didn't know how to do Zoom or anything like that, and I became friends with a guy who I looked up to and, you know, I got to know as a friend as well, and... Um, I found out he did uh, one of my favorite movies, Howard the Duck. And he's also in Child's Play and many, many other stuff. Dreamer of Oz and some other stuff. So we became really good friends. Uh, I'm talking about Ed Gill. He played Howard the Duck. Chucky's first ever Chucky. The, the good, the big length of uh, the movies. And, you know, I was going to interview him for, it was... The, like season three or four, or I, I don't remember. But we were talking, and he's gonna be on a dose of Landis, and we became really good friends. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. You got a picture with him, you know, it was, you know, via phone. Because again, I was like, okay, cool. I got to have, I got to have a picture with one of my one of my favorite movies of uh, Howard the Duck, which he played Howard in. I was like, okay, cool. And then we started. We were talking, and he's like, tell me they love me, and. You know, just pretty much hitting on me, saying that how he's getting the boner or something like that. I'm like, what? Again, I didn't really see that's not just this. He was just trying to joke around or whatever. But he, you know, he's just talking to me and getting kind of like not sexual, but just yeah, just acting kind of weirdish. And I didn't take it to heart because I'm like, okay, it's just Ed being Ed, and I. You know, I was like, cool, we become good friends, and he's going to be on the show. And, again, he kept throwing it off, like, hey, I, we got to wait to have moving with my, me and my husband move in or something like that. Him and his husband, I'm, I'm not that way. Uh, but um, I'm talking about getting moving somewhere, and we were going to set up a, him being on a dose of ladies, and, again, my old Facebook got hacked, and I haven't talked to him in, in, in a while. So, and then I tried to add him, like, a long time ago, and then next thing you know, I was on Facebook, YouTube, or something like that, and I found out Ed Gill exposed. I was watching something on 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 a a a and e biography, and it said Ed Gill exposed. So I'm thinking, okay, what did he do? Like, did he say a a, a word to offend somebody or something like that? And then I say, you know, another friend posted something about Ed Gill being exposed. So I'm like. What's really going on here? So I found out that Ed Gell was uh, trying to talk to these minors. Like, he was sending nudes to them and everything like that. I'm like, man. Again, like like I, like I was here, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. So it's like, damn, hearing that my childhood, uh, one of my favorite movies of my childhood is soliciting boy, underage boys. And he got caught in uh, California by some group called CC Unit. I don't catching or something like that. And I'm like in shock. I'm like, damn. And just a couple days ago, I posted a picture of him and me and my the whole you know the whole fan celebrity thing of working with people. And I'm like, damn. So I don't condone that. Uh, that that's that's sick and disgusting. That shows you what goes on between co-hosts doors. You never know. Like, so, yeah. Just, like I said, I'm, you tried to hit on me and stuff like that. I, I didn't take anything to it. 
was like, okay, he's trying to be a really friendly guy, cool guy, and, you know, he didn't want anything for the interview or stuff like that. We can't do an interview, but I just, again, it's, it's Friday, and I found out about it, like, two or three days ago, and I'm finding all this interesting stuff. I'm like, damn. So, again, like I said, if you look up to somebody and admire somebody, they're sick in the head when, and just, yeah, it's crazy. Um, so I just wanted to throw out my throw out my thing. It's crazy, man, and how my experience with that guy was. And like I said, we we voice chatted once, a quick picture. That was it. But we've talked off and on, and he told me he loved me and stuff like that. I'm like, so again, like I said, I don't condone that stuff with uh, him being a predator. Watch your kids' device. Why I I always say this before when I did, when I talked about kids crime show, kids can't defend themselves. Why do adults do that shit? It's sick and twisted in the head. So I just want to give you my thoughts on the whole Ed Gale situation. It's he's a sick, perverted freak. Uh, just I don't condone that stuff. Yeah. So that's my thoughts on the Ed Gale thing and how I've dealt with Ed Gale before. So. See you guys later. That's living in a crazy world, don't we?